Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah Barakatah. Shalom to the whole house of Israel. Repent. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Show me the way, hey, don't be amazed I was lost in this world like I was stuck up in a maze Illusions all around me plus was stuck up in my ways On witchcraft, heavy, taking drugs every day Was trying to numb the pain, no I could not feel my face Now look my face up in these scriptures, got my mind blown away My shiak on the way, we contending for the faith No pretending cause your adversary love it when you fake Hey, truth the new hate, we rebuke it from the gate That's Amos 5 and 10, jump up to verse 8 Abba told me the roll, I got it all on my plate at his Passover feast on his high holy day. Quam Yasharala, yeah, the kingdom I desire. My brain still on fire like I'm under the hair dryer. Babylon falling, plus the devil is a liar. We sharing information, let the truth transpire. Agents in the camps really be talking through the wire. They working for your time, man, them niggas far from righteous. Gotta keep my candle burning in the dark, check the brightness. We was made in his likeness, now give them praise in the crisis. For giving life to the lifeless, giving vision to the sightless. My Abba's love is priceless, but the churches want your bitcoins. Pastor looking for somebody white that he can hit on, my eyes red, blame it on this wine that I sip on, mortify your members and kill off your old man if you can, if you can't, I'ma pray for you fam, sometimes you need a boost from your eye with the juice, keep the laws you demon proof, your high shy, I believe in you and all the powers that you use just to prove you exist, the people ain't got a clue that you rule all of this, you created all of this I'm gonna teach you what Christ said That's yeah. at the end of the yeah, day, it don't come. matter what yeah. nobody else thinks, but what yeah. did Christ say? This is Matthew 6, we start at verse 5. You got it? The Lord's Prayer. Oh, I'm, no, this is the, the Lord's Prayer is afterward. Okay. This is important. You know what I'm saying? It says, And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues right. and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. That's what a lot of. And like the brother said, we're still dealing with certain things that we have to talk to our elders about, you know, because we don't want to contradict and that means the most high having this word. You know what I'm saying? So we still, you know, we going it's gonna be a discussion. But when it says they love to uh, pray stand in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen to men. And who is that? Your Christian church. I mean at the end of the day. Right. And that's what they love to do. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Right. But thou when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. Right. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. So that's how you pray. You enter into your closet. Right. It says, but when ye pray, ye not vain repetitions. And that's what we were talking about earlier. It's like you have to get rid of a lot of the ideologies that you thought in the church. You know what I'm saying? That's not how you pray. You know, oh, Father, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, love I, I <laughs> right. got my, my heart. <laughs> Right. That's mad. You know, that's mad. Mm -hmm. And you would hear that same prayer throughout the year. Like the brother yeah. be saying the same exact prayer. Yeah. Just mix up 52 the words. weeks. Yeah. Right. The same prayer. Right. But when you pray, use not vain repetition as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard of their much speaking. And that's that babbling that they do. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask him. And then he goes into the Lord's Prayer. So it says, after this manner, therefore pray ye. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he's giving you a prayer to pray. Now, of course, in your own heart, there's certain things you just want to pray for. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for being alive. Thank you for my, for my rib. Thank you for my roof, for my clothes. You know, there's certain things that you just naturally are thankful for. The more. Thank you for the good and the bad. Like, that's my prayer. You know? I'm just saying stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That's stuff that I just pray for. Thank you for everything. Good, bad, ups, downs, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Tell you, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I opened up my prayer with this, yeah. for the most part. Not every time, because everything's spiritual. You know, sometimes you just want to just cry out to the most high. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And that's really what it comes down to right there. And then uh, once into that closet, you can go into also too, man. It's, it's steps, it's certain things and there's certain requirements right, that right. the Most High requires when you pray. Certain things you're supposed to do, things you're not supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? 
So it's, 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 it's a process. It's all ordered. Right. Now get uh, go to First Corinthians. First Corinthians eleven. Let's get this, man. You know, and these these are these are basic things, man. You know what I'm saying? This is things that you know that you could clearly go into the scriptures and find. You know what I'm saying? And so why are everybody praying? Not according to how the Bible say pray. Right. Because they not praying to the most high. That's they why. They praying to man, you know what whatever saying? they praying to. Yeah, they not praying to the most high. You know what I'm saying? Because if you was praying to the most high, you would pray how the most high told you to pray. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got it. Uh, we're going to start at, we're going to start at three just to get the order. You know what I'm saying? But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Right? And the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is Yahweh, the Most High. You know what I'm saying? So that's the order that the Most High set up. Yeah, Yahweh Shai, he's our, he's our head. You know what I'm saying? Verse 4 it says, Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So you dishonoring Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Praying or prophesying. You know what I'm saying? Dishonoring Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, also, uh, verse 5 it says, But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. And who's the woman's head? That's that's the man. You know what I'm saying? So when your rib, when you teach in your rib or scriptures are coming out, you're praying, prophesying, make sure her head is covered up, right? You know what I'm saying? Because that's the order. That's what the most high is. That's, that's in the scripture. That's what's required of us. You feel me? So um, I'm going to finish that out. Uh, her head uncovered dishonor of her head, for that is even as one as if she were shaven. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's it's a, uh, you know, it's a, uh, uh, it's very important that you know how to pray, so you tap into that, you know, uh, to that lifeline with the Most High. You know what I'm saying? You got, especially what's going on now. You gotta stay prayed up, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm gonna get that one in where he said uh, pray seven times a day. Yeah. So lock it out. Get that pray every day. Pray everywhere. Everywhere? Pray everywhere. Scripture. to be like the most high in his order. You know, that's the earnest, that's the spirit, that's the, the prayer. You're like, I want to do this, but I want to I want to read more. Want, that's praying. You know what I'm saying? That's meditating on the most high. It's not a, that's the thing, man. It's certain topics, man, you don't have to go too deep. Right, right. Certain things, a lot of the, you don't have to go deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, it's, um, those are the basics, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, when you do pray, you know, uh, face Jerusalem, you know what I'm saying, which is east, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, the face of Jerusalem, and you follow those steps, man. So that way you in the clear with the Most High. You know what I'm saying? You want to be in the clear. You want to be on the Most High's right side. You don't want to be on the left side. You know That's what right. I'm saying? So, you know, you want to be in the clear with the Lord, man. You know what I mean? And honestly, uh, what what other question did you have? You were asking about so the, prayer, the, the Sabbath, right? The Passover. Yeah, the Sabbath and the Passover as well. Sabbath oh, season. the Sabbath and fasting? Get, the Passover. Get that prayer, oh, the every, the the prayer everywhere. Where, pray where everywhere. I, I was looking for where's that? What is it? A uh, paraphrase. Um. I sent it to you. I sent it to you in the text message as well. Like when you pray, you don't supposed to pray to be seen of men. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to pray to um. Yeah, to be seen of men. You know, you um. But you can pray everywhere, any and everywhere you could pray. But don't do it like when you pray, don't just be praying in front of brothers mm -hmm. and that be the only time you pray. You know what I'm saying? Or to be seen of them. Okay. You could pray to be seen of the Heavenly Father around a group of people. Mm -hmm. I pray you know what I'm saying? All the time. Yeah. yeah. I'll be out. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, you know, uh, when I was working, man, I'll be at work, you know, because I stood security. So I'll be standing all day, man. I'll be, my head just praying. You know what I'm saying? Like meditating and just talking, you know, talking to the most high. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, and. and the thing is, too, man, and you got to understand, it's all about the spirit you coming in, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the most high, he sees that, and he reads all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you only, like, if you only praying, if you only, if you only praying, and when you pray, too, man, you got to pray for the nation. You can't just always just pray for yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? And some prayers, it's like, you know, um, there's plenty of prayers all throughout the scriptures that you can read. You don't necessarily have to come up with your own prayer. You know what I'm saying? This prayer is all through like Matthew 6. You know, Psalms, uh, Psalms, uh, 30, is it Psalms 31? Psalms 25. Uh, yeah. Plenty of prayers. Plenty of prayers. Proverbs 1 and verse 6. Yeah, it's, it's different. And see, that's the thing too, man. It's, it's so, it, it's beautiful, man, when you can and that goes into praying seven times a day, which is completion. You know what I'm right. saying? Because you can literally say seven prayers in right. that one session of praying. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But of course you want to pray throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? But you can't, like, it's, it's like, they got prayers for uh, repentance. You know what I'm saying? Prayers for uh, mercy. Prayers for di different things. You know to saying? destroy your enemies. Yeah, to right. yeah, destroy your enemies. All that. Prayers. You can we can pray for vengeance. Right. You know? Oh, that's actually let me pull that. Man. Yeah, pull that. You can pray. You can pray and ask the Most High to pass down you saw in other nations. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, we cry. To, it's all it's, it's all different accounts of us crying to the Most High to redeem us out of different situations in the scriptures. Like with Esther, when you read about Esther. You know what I'm saying? They cried. Mordecai, he cried to the Lord. He cried unto the Most High. You know what I'm saying? The Most High, he heard him. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is Psalms 2 and 8. That's what it is. Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I shall give the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. You know what I'm saying? It says, Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter vessel. But he's telling you what? Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. So, how do we ask the Lord for that inheritance? Come back to this law, this light, this lamp. You know what I'm saying? We have to learn these things. And the Most High, what? Deuteronomy. Is it seven or twenty-eight and one? You know, or Deuteronomy six and seven. That seven and six. Seven and six. Right. 
The Most High made us to be above all nations. That's the whole point. You know what I'm saying? But we got to accept our inheritance, accept that we kings and we judges, and we have to live righteousness because our fathers made a covenant. But he said, ask of me. What does that mean? Pray. Pray. And I'll make the heathen thy inheritance. Turn. I'll, I'll highlight it right. Um, Psalms 5 and 4 through 6. It has the little, um, um, it has the fruit of the context on the top. So Psalms 5 and 4 through 6. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil may not dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord have slack you. Averse the bloodthirsty and deceitful men. Psalms 5 and 4. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. Come. You expounded on that? Yeah, so it's basically how that on the top it says lead me into righteousness. Like all these the parables and stuff about we have pretty much the message in which the, the scripture's talking about on top. I want to stick with the 16 and 11. Because a lot of that stuff right there, bro, we've been like, we like the chariot paths. <laughs> what kind of Bible that is, bro? It's an English standard version. Yeah, you got to get you a KJV. Yeah, I mean, you 16 and 11. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of words, they they took out. Yeah. But that's why, like, even certain precepts on the side of the 16 and 11, you won't see them even in a new KJV. There's certain precepts that will quote Second Ezra, First Maccabees. You know what I'm saying? When they, because and King James, whoever did the, the scribes that put this together, they, they they tried to put as much precept on precept. Yeah. They knew it. They was in the spirit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, trying to make it easier. For you. Right. They was writing that John out. Yeah. I love this. I love this story right here. It's amazing. It's amazing, bro. Come on. Crazy. You had any more questions up? Uh, dude, we're supposed to go fast. Oh yeah, fast. Fasting and Passover. The Passover is coming up, right? So, so like, and is it is it start necessarily on the? I, I was reading uh, with Adam Adam Abbey. Um, I think it's the eighth day. Of April. Oh, the eighth day of the month of Abbey. So, yeah. where does it kind of like? I think uh, our our dates line up pretty well with them. I think I believe so. We uh, the thing is too, man. As long as it's in season, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, so you got to celebrate the feast in their seasons. That's what the scriptures say. But I definitely, man, I really want you to be there for this. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, bring it out. It's just 12. just going to give you the gist of what it's about, what it symbolizes, and you know, all of that. Go ahead, uh, Khan. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 12, we can start at verse 3. It says, Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of, the, of this month, which is the first month, uh -huh. Uh -huh. they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers, a lamb in the house. Let's uh -huh. give it shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two sides posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it so you know we don't have the exact rituals for it but especially when you get your lamb get the blood from the lamb and put it on your post, the door your door Come. post right now Come. you know that's in a general yeah. Precise, you know what I'm saying? And then it says, um, and they shall eat the flesh in the night, 
roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs shall they eat it, eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire. So you have to grill it, basically. Yeah, we're over you know and eat bitter herbs with it as well. Okay. It says his head with his legs and with, okay, okay, verse 10, and ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. So after you make the lamb, put it on your mm -hmm. door post, eat the bitter herbs, you're gonna burn everything that you did not eat. So you can't take the, the lamb leftovers. home or nothing. Right. Yeah. Um, let's see. And thus shall ye eat it. So this is the directions though. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. So you got to eat the meal fast. Mm -hmm. You got to stand up, loins girded, mm -hmm. looking good with your staff. Come. Eat your lamb, bitter herb, and that's how you do the Passover. Come. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. It's not really, I mean, of course you want to learn the story of why and all that. We're we going to go deeper in, into that, but I'm going to read verse 12 just so you can, you know, uh, get it. And um, another thing, too, man, you got to realize, bro, you got people saying we can't keep the Passover. We're in captivity. We uh, or, um, you know, people, you know, and not knocking nobody because they're observing it. You know what I'm saying? But people, you don't have to go rent out this big ass football stadium and keep the Passover because the first Passover was kept where? At home. We was at home. In our houses, in the first 40 Passovers was where? In the wilderness. We wasn't even in our homeland. We wasn't even in our land when we kept the Passover. You know what I'm saying? It was originated in captivity. Uh, because of right. us yeah. coming out of captivity. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, it's it's not it's not hard, bro. You know, but verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am Yahweh. Right? And verse 13. And the blood shall uh, be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. So it's telling you why we why we put the blood upon the posts, right? Mm -hmm. And it says, and the blood shall be for a token, right? Upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. God. That was a covering, and that covering represents Yahushua. Right. That blood represents Yahushua because he's our he now he is our covering God. from that Most High's judgment. Okay. You know what I'm saying he's our covering. You know what I'm saying so, you know and, uh, he was that sacrifice for us. You know what I'm right. saying that lamb. You feel me? So mm -hmm. the lamb uh, symbolizes the body of Yahushua. You know what I'm saying? The Last Supper was Passover. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's it's uh That's true. You know, it's uh we'll go deeper though. Mm. We'll go we'll go deep, but yeah. just giving you the gist of, you know, what it's about and you know what I'm saying, a little bit of history on it, you know what I'm saying? But, even Passover but, is the feast of unleavened bread too. Come on, you yeah, that's come on. following right. that. Oh, yeah, that like, too. Yeah, that oh yeah, let's just put throw away all the yeast in your house. Right. And and you have to that's why it says oh, what 15, it says. Let's read 14 and 15. Verse 8. And they shall eat it, eat the flesh in the night, roast with fire, and unleavened bread. God. And with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Because it's also the feast of unleavened bread, too. God. I want to keep it to the 14th day. God. So lucky. I want to read 14. It says, And this day shall be upon you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast to Yahweh throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. So no matter whether you in captivity, no matter where you at, man, you know what I'm saying? You got to keep it. You, you know what I'm saying? You have to keep it, you know? Verse 15, seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. Even the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eateth leavened bread for the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. The Most High not playing with his Passover, man. Right. Got to keep it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's not hard to get the leaven out your house. It's not hard to flip the label around to see what's in it. It's not, it's not hard, hard to do that, man. Some right. things you got to be over-righteous with. Come Some things you got to be over-righteous with, bro, because, you know, we have to we have to go that extra step and go that extra mile to serve the most high, bro. Even if we are rehearsing. Come we, not, we don't have it all down packed because the scriptures do say we are rehearsing, practicing the righteous acts. 
But at the same time, it's like some stuff we do, well, whatever we have control of, let's get it down to the T. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Kay. So, you know, uh, if you want, to, any brother wants to add anything or you had any questions about scripture or that was brought up. Passover, that was right there. And I was, I was really, because I know it's coming up. And I really think this Passover is going to be a little bit significant. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if y'all been doing the genealogy, you know, the 400 year tribulation, 1619. Mm -hmm. I don't, that. I know because you're not, you're not supposed to, you know, I guess, fathom on returning to your home you know, yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. That's, that's, yeah. that's not cool. But it's just the fact of the matter is, I believe that, uh, uh, what's it called? A pair, you know what a paradigm is, kind of? Like a, uh, yeah, like a paradigm it. shift. It's like, um, kind of pretty much a shift probably i don't know a spirit might come over israel that might give them a certain um not an understanding or awakening mm -hmm. something might spark something versus yeah. you know rather soon especially because it's canola you know what i'm saying all yeah. these pandemics yeah, is going, going on, on yeah. I, you know what i'm saying i take heed to that so, you know the locust that's going around australia is on fire all that stuff yeah. i feel like right now is a, is a time that we it's like it's a make or break it for us like yeah. you know like right now it's the fourth quarter like you know oh, yeah. something something's got to give if it's not our it's, if, if it's not our awakening it's our destruction it's one or the other right, that's right, why right. i mean i i just been a heavy spirit it's kind of like you know he's saying just make sure i'm on my p's and q's with the scriptures so i can like i just ain't gonna, i don't i don't want no kind of no no discomfort i, I just want this one to get pretty much complete comfort right. and the you know the right state of mind so I just think like that's why I'm like I'm kind of emphasizing on the Passover now. So I'm like I ain't, to be honest, I ain't never kept Passover in my life. But this is the, this is going like this one is about to be my first one. And so I'm so lucky not to cut you off. I, you know what I'm saying the thing is, you gotta understand we watching. You know what I'm saying we see the signs. Mm -hmm. We see the you know uh, and that's how we tell of where we at in time uh -huh. by prophecy. You know what I'm saying you have to. We have to watch and see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? So not necessarily, you know, you know, we don't wanna we don't wanna say that we um can't wait for your house shy to come back because not uh, shit, I know I'm not ready. I'm not ready, you know what I'm saying? So nobody and I and you know, I, I pray to the most high that one day, you know, uh you know, whenever that day is that I'm doing something that please him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, right, Lord willing, you know, but um it's a, uh, you know, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's going to be your first Passover, you know, and you, you got to be there. I, you I, know what I'm saying? You, and, and, and this is a beautiful thing, man, because I remember my first Passover. Mm -hmm. Nigga, that bitter herb. Oh, that's, my God. That's well, really was, bitter. No, he's <laughs> yeah. not. This, Kadash is not cutting the bitter herbs this year. I'm doing the bitter herbs this year. This man is not doing it. <laughs> you know? Cut. But the bitter herb. We eat that because it symbolizes the um, the bitter captivity, and I'm gonna get that too. And uh, I think it's eleven. Eleven. What book? Exodus. Exodus. The same book. And you know why we keep the Passover our, oh, yeah, our freedom from captivity. Was, uh, Moses brought us out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. All praises. Christians know that, but don't know that. If that makes sense, they they've heard, they've seen the um, what the Ten Commandments, they've seen all that, and know the story. Like, oh yeah, I remember the parting of the race. Yeah, that's about the Passover. That's crazy. Keep on put two and two together. You see what Exodus? Right. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. So lucky. Yeah. says um and they made their lives bitter and with hard bondage and mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field all their service wherein they made them serve with uh with rigor so the bitter herb that symbolizes the bitter captivity that we had to go through you understand what i'm saying so that it, it, that's it it gives us that reminder of what our people went through 
You understand what I'm saying? So that's what the bitter herb symbolizes. Everything is symbolic with the Most High, man. You know what I'm saying? In all his feast days. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's um, it's like uh, from the lamb to the blood to the to the herb to the uh, the staff. Everything is all symbolic. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's our culture. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm uh, definitely looking forward to. Because every feast day like that I've kept, I haven't even kept all the feast days in one calendar year. I haven't, I haven't even done that yet. You know what I'm saying? So you know, uh, but with every one we keep, we're getting better and better at keeping it. Better and better at keeping it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this will be your first one, man. And you know, Lord willing, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful. Out here, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be beautiful. So. Does that answer all your questions on Passover? Uh, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to go deeper, though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? The basics of it, yes. Yeah, right, right. That's just the, the gist of it. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Fasting. fasting. Oh, yeah, fasting. That's the, that's the in the Sabbath. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in the Con Sabbath, the Sabbath too. Sabbath. Got it, got it. Okay, uh, the fasting. Let me get into fasting. All right. Um, you want to bring out Nehemiah? Or, uh, um... Uh, I think it was that... Where is it? Yeah, Jonah. Or, is it Nehemiah? Okay, I'm thinking of Nineveh, so it's not Nineveh. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's Nineveh, the story. Yeah, 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 I think it is Nineveh, Jonah. Yeah, Jonah. But bring that out, and then I'm gonna just further expound on fasting. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Mm -hmm. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he uh, arose from his throne and, and laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth. And sat in ashes, and he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. Right? Okay. And um, so pretty much, you have a lot of different stories and you have a lot of different cases in the scriptures of us fasting as a nation as a as a unit you understand what i'm saying so and uh, another thing too when you fasting the proper fast is no drinking or eating you know what i'm saying from you will start at sundown to sundown you know what i'm saying that's the order of it you know what i'm saying from sundown to sundown you feel what i'm saying or depending you can fast for however long you want just, you know what i'm saying yeah. uh, obviously not as long as you was shy yeah. but you know what i'm saying and also too <laughs> You have to prepare your body for a fast too, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go on a fast and think you can just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. You can't, do, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So before you do a fast, you know, eat a, eat a, eat a, eat a, a, a nice meal, you know, get a, a, no, enough fluids, depending on how long you fasting for. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, your fast, you know, no drinking, no eating. That's, 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 that's you know, that's what it is. You know, so you wanted to uh, bring something out of it? Pretty much got cut what I thought was right. <laughs> um, yeah, just further expounding on that because you don't want to eat nothing, drink nothing. But it says, but also you don't want to be over righteous. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the stuff in the scriptures, brothers were like a lot of our affliction. They just knew three days affliction. You know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of that stuff we was a lot of fast in the scriptures, but us being delivered from some type of grievous. Mm -hmm. 
destruction that the Most High may put upon us, or a certain king had an odd against our nation or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to expound on a little more. It says, uh, this is Matthew 6 and 17. It says, but thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't really, it tells you not to taste nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But still clean up your face. Come. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. That's basically what it means. Yeah, you know, you're not supposed to look like you right, right. fasted. Right. You know what I'm supposed saying? To not tell people yeah, you spoke. Oh yeah, right. uh, I can bring it up. Yeah, get oh. that too. Uh, Salakia too on that. I'm glad you said that. Uh, but um, yeah, too, man. Don't just be like, oh nah, bro. I don't, you know, I don't want to play fasting. Right. You know, right. <laughs> no, you're no, right. that's all. Right. Don't, do, I'm fasting. Don't, don't do that, bro. Right. You know, what I'm right. like, you know, so you know, bro, you know. When you fasting, bro, just, you know, do your, do your same day to day. You know, get up, get yourself together, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, the same. it's not, no, you got to sit there in the corner and you, know, you ain't got to do all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's the, you know, but the thing is, too, man, you want to, even even myself, bro, you know what I'm saying? You want to fast. You want to fast at least once a week. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's really what you want to do, you know? And the thing is, too, like he said, we was fasting three days, at least three days, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and different stories in the scriptures, you know? And with that too, a lot of those situations we were in when we were caused to fast, it was, those are real extreme, dire situations. So that's kind of how, that's the kind of the spirit you want to kind of be in when you fast, because we in that same situation now. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we're in the midst of our enemies. We're in captivity. You know what I'm saying? And you kind of want to fast with the same spirit that our forefathers and foremothers had, too. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's just, you know, that's just kind of, obviously, it's not a law or commandment, you know, that you got to fast in that same spirit. But just use wisdom, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, like the brother said, you know, you ain't got to be over-righteous with it. You know what I'm saying? And even you can even fast from more things. You can fast from social media. Right. Fast yeah. from even you and you and your rib. You know what I'm saying? Y'all come to a common agreement. You know what I'm saying? Okay, babe, you know, we just gonna fast from, you know, laying with each other for, you know, however long y'all agree to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just you know what I mean? So and even on fast even on fast too, you wanna kinda abstain from that as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, so Right. You know. Isn't it in the household that you might be able to point me in the scripture for you? But the reason like, for fasting is pretty much to show the most high how, in other words, that you don't depend on nothing. Because say if you eat food every day of your life without fasting one day in your life, that's a part of like, that's kind of like idolizing something. And it's pretty much just taking a break for something that, you know, that say your body that you need or say, uh, I don't know. I don't smoke cigarettes, but say you, you stop, or you know, you take. You, you may not quit smoking cigarettes, but you stop smoking for a while just to show the Lord that I don't need this, you know, or I don't. This necessarily doesn't. This isn't about me being dependent on something. The only thing you're really supposed to need is is, is the Word of Most High, you know. Right, and that's and that's scripture. You got to get that. Uh, Satan took Christ on the mountain, and mm -hmm. he said, "Don't tempt the Lord." Like that. He also said. Man shall not live by bread alone, mm -hmm. but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And this is important because fasting is important. So mm -hmm. let's get this account. Matthew 17. Um, and we can start at verse 15. Um, you said 4 and 17? Uh, no, Matthew 17. 17. Chapter 17. Uh -huh. And start at verse 15. It says, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed. For oft times he falleth into the fire and off into water. Now, somebody brought their son to the house shot. Now, I just keep dealing with extreme spirits. You know what I'm saying? And it said, um, and I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Because the disciples had powers to lay hands and, you know, bring devils out of people. And it said, uh, then you have a shot answer and said, oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And you have a shot rebuked the devil. and He departed out of him and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Yahweh party and said, why could not we cast him out? 
and Yahweh Shai said unto them, because of your unbelief, verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you should say unto this mountain, remove fish to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Now this is them lacking faith, so Yahweh Shai, he deep mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's giving you precept upon precept to expound. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he says, how bait this kind of spirit go not out but by prayer and fasting mm. so certain spirits that you want off you you dealing with like even with your mind and stuff like we mm -hmm. was talking about earlier if you don't want to think evil thoughts fast about that mm. like have a purpose in your fast because you're mm. afflicting your soul that's mm. what it comes down to you're humbling yourself to the most high like most high i'm tired of having evil thoughts so i'm gonna have a fast mm. If, and it could be from social media that that might call that you might. from having those evil thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Or anything. I'm gonna fast is. from. I'm gonna be honest. It is right. I'm gonna fast from food, and, and that's the spirit. Most likely gonna reveal it. You know what I'm saying? But right. That you know, fast about things that you really feel that your soul. Needs. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's because certain spirits can only come off you by what prayer, prayer and fasting. Fast. Wow. So, yeah. That's the answer right there. This is Ezra chapter 8, verse 21. It says, Then I proclaimed a fast there. At the river of uh, Ava, Ahava, that we might afflict ourselves before our God to seek of Him a right way for us mm -hmm. and for our little ones and for all our substance. So it's about afflicting your afflicting your flesh. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. And when you fast, you're afflicting the flesh, but you're feeding the spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about: the spiritual gain and the spiritual growth. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what, you know, that's what, uh, that's very important. You know what I'm saying? So, to understand that, man. You know? But, you know, the most high, man, he's, uh, he's very fair, bro. Because it, and he's very balanced, bro. You know what I'm saying? He loves us, bro. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's, uh, that's mainly what I got for fasting. You know what I'm saying? That makes a lot of God, all praises. All praises. I'm trying to find this one precept, one more, and this is important too. Hey, these heathens scared out here though. I, <laughs> they they don't know what's going on. I never in my life seen Vegas shut down a casino. All of them. All of them. <laughs> pull the plug at midnight. They pull the plug at midnight on their ass. This is the number one gambling spot in the world. Let me shut down. All praises to you. All praises. Executive bartender Bellagio for like 27 years. They just laid him off while this whole thing went on. 27, and he's got he's got a high limit bar in uh, in the Bellagio. Like the most exclusive was, it's it's like a he has like a, a high limit uh, poker chips around. His cheapest drink is like a 25 dollar shot. The most expensive drink is like a 2500 shot. And it's just like for music, like it's just all this. I don't know. The music like the, I got the precept. Right, bring it out, up. Isaiah 58. And we can start at verse 3. Gone. Okay. Isaiah 58, verse 3. Ha, 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 ha.
Damn, you supposed to say it's making me want to fast, yeah, huh? right, 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 right. <laughs> But you know, hey, right, we know you be on that fast, nigga. It, it get you, real. All you think, bro. <laughs> you just so much, you, like, bro. I've never been dehydrated this fast. <laughs> right. Never in my life. Like, bro, you be fast, you be dehydrated like that. I'm right. Like, Damn, but that's the most that's high. that's them thoughts you be fighting. Yeah, that urge the, to yeah, feed the flesh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that battle. And your body knows it can't have something. Crazy, I mean, when I was in boot camp, man, that shit was terrible, man. That shit was terrible. <laughs> like, I, I was in peace, bro. That was rough. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Mr. Book Isaiah, chapter 58, starting at verse 3, it says, Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the days of your fast, ye you find pleasure and exalt all your labors. Yeah. Uh -huh. Study for yourself. And when you find it to be the truth, live it out. You ain't got to join anything. You already a nation. But you don't think that, so you want it to come apart. 